Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Broadside! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. famous arena Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in the UFC. Now if the Knicks could just get their act together. The Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. Oh, big elbow. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Great punch. Big hook. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here at DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. And oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. 
All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, and he's back up again. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt a bad with a jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight punch lands. Oh, another one. He just keeps landing these brutal head kicks. I am no doctor, but would someone like to tell me how he is still standing? Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy employ this kick-heavy strategy. Nice kick. Here he is back in the clinch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons tonight. He is using those knees to slow down his opponent. This one's all you, man. Knock him down, you're gonna knock him down again. I want you to finish him this time. Okay, go out there. There, DC, you like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my Whoa! face. Oh, no. Back to the feet. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. That's a big strike right there. All right, single collar tie now. And that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a 20 from this position. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He's having his way with him here. Back to the feet now. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, he's hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh! Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Bronson. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.